Okay, kiddos. Okay, before we go to before we go to bed. Um before we go to bed, we're gonna have some important discussion. We're gonna have some important discussion, okay? And uh, um Nala, you good? There you are. Alright. So before we go to bed, we're gonna have some important discussion. And that important discussion is how to attract good things from God. What did I call it? How to attract what? Good things from God. If you must be able to attract good things from God, you have to like what God likes and hate what God hates. You have to love what God loves and hate what God hates. If <coughs> you happen to be someone who love what God loves and hate what God hates, guess what? God will begin to make good things happen for you. God will begin to bless you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me give you an example. God hates sin. Say that with me. Say, God hates sin. Say it. God hates sin. Say it loud. God hates sin. Sin, unrighteousness, iniquity, transgression. These are different kind of these are different kind of um, um, going against God. When people sin, when people are unrighteous, when people commit iniquity, when people transgress. So we have sin, we have unrighteousness, we have iniquity, we have transgression. God hates all of this. All of these are things that simply, you know, show someone who is going against God. Now, are you with me? So, say it again one more time. God hates sin. God hates sin. So, if you hate what God hates and like what God likes, you position yourself to be blessed and promoted and helped by God. If God hates sin, does anybody know what God can like? Can anybody suggest what God likes? Yes? You. God likes me, yes. Can anybody say God likes you? God likes all of us, yes. Kindness and love. God likes kindness and love, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, look. The word of God. God likes the word of God. Now, God hates sin. Say with me. Say God likes righteousness. God likes righteousness. Say it again. Say God likes righteousness. God likes righteousness. That's number one. Let me show you Hebrews chapter one verse eight. Everybody say Hebrews chapter one verse eight. Hebrews Chapter one, verse eight. But about the son, but about the son, he says, he says, your throne, your throne, oh God, oh God, will last forever, will last forever, and ever, and ever. A scepter of justice, a scepter of justice, will be the scepter of your kingdom. He yep. said, "Your throne will last forever and ever, and a, and a scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom." Did you see that? Next verse, read with me. Say, "You have loved righteousness. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. And hated wickedness. Therefore, therefore, God, God." Your God. Your God. Say God. God. Even my God. Even my God. Say God. God. Even my God. Even my God. Say God is my God. God is my God. Say God is my God. God is my God. Say God. God. Even my God. Even my God. Has set me. Has set me. Above my friends, above my companions, and has anointed me with oil of joy. Oh my God, did you see what happened? What happened here? This man hated iniquity, he hated wickedness, but he loved righteousness. Do we remember what we say God loves? We say God loves what? Righteousness. So this is talking about Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God, hated iniquity. He hated wickedness, but he loved righteousness. Because of that, Nalo, because of that, what happened? God lifted him above 
his mates. You guys, you know who are your mates? All of the people in your class, all of the people that were born around the center, you were born. Bobo is five, Janelle is nine, Nalo is going to three, Peniel, Janelle is seven, Nalo is going to three, Peniel is going to ten, right? Now, everyone that was born around the time you were born, everyone in your class, those guys are your mates. Jesus also had people that were his mates. And he says, because you love righteousness and you hated iniquity, God lifted him. God made him the best among his mates. How did God do that? God put oil of joy on his head. Say with me, oil of joy. Oil of joy. Why? Because so when you love what God loves, you get the blessings of God. Penian is going to read for us. And I want to show us one more beautiful thing that God loves. Penian, do you have it? Yes. Penian is going to read for us from Psalm, and that is where we are going to end. Is somebody enjoying it? Yes. Psalm, you're going to read from Psalm, Psalm 41. Are you there? Psalm what? Verse number one. And everybody listen to Penny. And read that loud so that our friends can hear you. Want to read? Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Read it. What? Read it. Can you shout it? Can you? It's a beautiful scripture. You want everybody to hear it. Can you read it so loud? Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. One more time, but you're going to increase your voice this time around. I need to really hear you read loud. Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in the right in the time of trouble. Nalo, yes. stand up. Let me tell you something, Nalo. God looks at you and he says i will also i will always deliver nalo from trouble why did god do that because remember what we said you get god to do you good bless you lift you when you like what god likes what is it that god likes from this scripture that penny read read What what does it what, what do you think God likes from this scripture? Considering the poor. Considering the poor. So now, look, when you see a a, a a a child that is poor and hungry, you know what? You have this lovely shirt. You have two of them, and you come to me and you say, "Daddy, that baby is." naked that baby does not have any shirt to put on i want to give that baby one of my shirts so that she can cover her nakedness that baby does not have a shoe i want to give that baby one of my shoes so that she can wear something on her feet wow what did you just do you consider the poor when you have two bicycles and you give somebody that doesn't have one bicycle right what did you just do you are considering the poor what happened? He said, when you consider the poor, God will deliver. Somebody say, deliver. Deliver. Say, deliver me. Deliver me. From trouble. From trouble. Do you know that there are days of trouble? Do you know that there are days of trouble? Do you know that there are days of trouble? There are days that a baby comes out. Listen to this. There are days that a baby comes out to play with her bicycle comes out to play right and as she as she was playing she didn't see that a car was coming and the car hit that baby and that baby breaks her leg or that baby even dies that day is a day of trouble a day that something bad wants to happen a day that the devil has made something bad to happen so Imagine this is the devil, and he has said today, as they go to the playground to play, I will make sure somebody will throw a stone 
at the other person and it will enter the person's eyes and it will blind the person's eyes. That's day of trouble. The devil wants to do that, right? But God is in heaven and God is looking and saying, Oh, devil, 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 you bad devil. You are planning to blind that baby's eyes. Let's say Nalo. You are planning to blind Nalo's eyes when she goes out to play. But, devil, do you remember that yesterday Nalo gave her shirt to another baby that does not have a shirt, to another baby that was naked? And that that Nalu did, I recorded it. Devil, look at it. I recorded that beautiful thing that Nalu did. And according, somebody say according, according. to Psalm 41, Psalm 41, verse 1, verse one. Nalu, Nalu will be delivered, will be delivered. <laughs> in the days of trouble. <laughs> this is how it works now. So, now that stone is coming to, to, to enter Nalu's eyes and maybe make her blind, but because Nalo has considered the poor and helped the poor girl, what do you think will happen? God will immediately come and make sure that that stone hits a wall. So God brings a wall between, be, before Nalo's eyes. So the stone is coming, and the stone will not hit Nalo's eyes. The stone will hit that wall that God has brought before her eyes, and her eyes will not be affected. Why did that happen to Nalo? Because yes, because she helped the poor. Because she helped the poor. When you help the poor, you are doing what God likes. And whenever you do what God likes, guess what? God will protect you. God will lift you. God will bless you. And God will make sure that no trouble comes to you. All right. Does anybody have a question? Yes. Yes. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Now, what's your question? Okay. I have a question. Yes. What's your question? God doesn't like the devil. God doesn't like the devil. Yes. The answer to that question is yes. yes. God doesn't like the devil because the devil is doing bad things. Right, and God is going to judge the devil and punish the devil for all the bad things that he's been doing. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, at the end of the world. Another question, another question, Jadia. Do you have a question? What do you understand from what we discussed, Jadia? I speak up loud. I understand, I can't hear you really. I understand that God, if you help the poor, when if it's your trip, if the devil wants to hurt you, mm -hmm. God will protect you. He will put a big wall so nothing can hit you. Yes. When you have the poor, if you have the poor, and the devil wants to hurt you, God will protect you. He will put a big wall so that nothing can hit you. Yeah, Penny, what do you understand? If you if you consider the poor and help them have mm -hmm. things that they don't have, mm -hmm. then God will protect you from days of trouble. If you consider the poor and help them have things they don't have, mom is bad. God will God will do what? Mm -hmm. uh, Protecting the days of trouble. But how do you help the poor? Does anybody know how can you help the poor? You can give them shoes and clothes and food. You can give them shoes and clothes or food. Give them water if they're thirsty. You can give them water if they are thirsty. Yeah. And, yeah. and bananas. You can give them bananas, yes. Go for. Jackets. You can give them jackets, yes. And apples. And apples, yes. And trousers. And trousers, yes. You just bless them. Can give them money, right? And money. And money, right? Just bless them. So, what is your prayer, God? Bless me to be a blessing. Did you get that? Yes. Say that with me. Say, God. God. Bless me. Bless me. To be a blessing. To be a blessing. Lord. Lord. 
Give me more. Give me more. To be able to give others. To be able to give others. Lord. Lord. Make me. Make me. The answer. The answer. To the prayers. To the prayers. Of the poor. Of the poor. The needy. The needy. The fatherless. The fatherless. The motherless. The motherless. The orphan. The orphan. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. my hand. My hand will always, we always bless others. others. Say my hand, my hand will always, we always bless, others. bless others. Say I am not poor. I am not poor. I am not stingy. I'm not stingy. Say I have abundance. I have abundance. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So. We'll study again. Today is Psalm um, 41 verse what? Four. One. When you consider the poor, the Lord will deliver you <coughs> in times of trouble. trouble. Think about it. Think about it. And let it guide you all your life. I will always consider the poor. Okay? So, mommy is back. And um, who? Who is resting already? 